Hello everyone, this is Maria from MLB Reborns. I am working on step number 12 of my 12 step plan to creating a reborn doll. So today I am going to be showing you how to uh, construct your baby. And I have all the supplies that we will be needing. This is the body and I purchase my bodies usually from Bountiful Baby. Uh, and I buy them with the string ties because they are less expensive than the ones that come with the cable ties. And I buy the cable ties separately. They come in a bunch of, I believe, 28 to 30 and I think you pay about $8. So I buy them separately and then I switch out the uh, string ties for the cable ties because I prefer them on my baby just to make sure that all of the limbs are uh, secure and won't be coming off the body. So you will need a body and you will need your string, um, your cable ties. You will need a nail clipper that I use specifically for this and you will be cutting the um, the cable tie after you tie it onto the limb. And then you will need these felt rounds to go over the limbs like so. Now you can either use these felt rounds or you can use plugs that you can purchase from Bountiful Baby. And the plugs, I don't have any uh, that fit the, this leg but usually they look like this and you would just plug the hole with the, um, the plug. So I have one for one of the arms so as you can see it goes right in and that is how you plug it up. But today we are going to be using the I don't have enough plugs for the entire kit so I will be using the little felts and just glue them on there with E6000 glue. So and then we have this is Kate she will be given away uh, tomorrow by the time this airs on YouTube she will already be with her mommy but today I went ahead and I gave her eyelashes and I glued them on as well as the magnet and I put a felt right over over the magnet right there and so right now it's drying I will make a separate video showing you how to attach the head to the body because I have to wait for the um, the glues to dry before I can uh, finish this up and then you will need just regular nylons these are knee highs and I think I pay under maybe six or seven dollars for a box of ten and they're just regular knee highs and I usually will use two or three uh, per baby so I'll take out three for now and what else what else do we need? We need the glass beads. I got this um, on eBay. I usually get it from uh, Bountiful Baby, but I haven't ordered any supplies from Bountiful Baby lately, so I went ahead and, uh, and just got some from eBay. And they're just very fine glass beads. And what else? And then you will need polyfill. I got this at... Walmart and you can get a really high quality polyfill from Bountiful Baby but it is quite expensive so I will normally um, just get mine from Walmart and so let's go ahead and get started the first thing I am going to do is um, fill uh, let's see for the body I will need three nylons filled with um, glass beads and I will need pretty small ones. Kate doesn't have a very big body so I will be using two 
and I will cut them in half like so and then tie the bottom like so oh, of course that's the one that had the foot so let's go ahead and untie that because that one already is tied of course I did a great job at tying this but thankfully I have fingernails that will take it apart okay so it's the other one that I had to tie the bottom so tie the bottom like so and stretch it out and then fill it okay so this is the bag of glass beads and I just have a thin pill bottle I think I purchased needles and they came in this pill bottle and I just take some glass beads and pour them into my stocking like so until we fill maybe half or a little bit more than half okay and then I will tie it like so and then I will take it and fold this over like so and then it would, will just create a little ball that will sit inside the body like so okay so we will need three of these okay so that's one and then we have the other one and I do the same thing and I'm hoping Kate will weigh four and a half pounds hopefully Okay, and again, about half to three quarters of the way for this bag, and tie it at the base, and then fold it over. And when you fold it over, there you go, you have another nice little bag and then I'm gonna cut this in half and one we're gonna use for the body and the other one we're gonna use for the head okay so we only needed two for this baby okay and you just do the same thing Now, Kate is going to be given away tomorrow, but like I said, by the time this video is uploaded, I still have steps 8 through 12 to go through for my 12-step plan to creating a reborn doll. So, this will not show until probably a week or two from now. And this is going to go at the top of the body, so I want to make it smaller. So it has maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more than half of what I put in the other ones. Okay, and then fold it over. And this I will put at the top, and her head will sit right on top of this and it, it just gives her more stability okay and then we have the last one and in here we're going to put maybe three quarters of the way and there is no science to this ladies just pour and you get a feel for what you want the weight to be inside your baby okay so there I'm tying it up and then I'm pulling it over 
and there we go. This will go inside Kate's head when I'm ready to fill it up. Okay, so that's four stockings of glass beads. And this I can put away. Okay, so now you take your body and I take these strings out of the body and use the cable ties on all the limbs and especially the head because the head will be heavy and sometimes if you use a string tie and you don't tie it um, tight enough the head will just pop off and before I forget I do always use a ring around the neck so this goes around her neck and when you put the head on the body um, it just eases the turning of the head and it makes it a lot more simple to turn the head so I always make sure and I have these on hand okay so let's go ahead and I will need five cable ties and how many does that leave me? That leaves me five so I'll have enough for my next baby I have to get another supply order from Bountiful Baby okay so when you insert the cable tie into the body you want to just find find the little hole on the body and insert it the end of the cable tie will have what feels like little teeth. I don't know if you can see them, but you can certainly feel them. Okay, so that needs to face in when you put the cable tie inside, inside the hole and you feed it through. Okay, and then when you get to the seams, of course, you have to jiggle it a little bit to make sure it goes through and sometimes it will not be as easy but today we're getting lucky and there's two so let's see if I can feed it through and you just have to kind of play with it until it goes through and there it goes Okay. and when it comes out the other side I'll put it in but not tight okay so just put it in pull it through until it locks okay so that is ready and then I'll go ahead and do the arms same thing feel for the little teeth right on the end of the cable tie and feed it through And there it is. And feed it through until it locks. And there it is, locked. Now you don't want to tighten this all the way down because sometimes you'll tighten it too tight and then you won't be able to fit the arm or the leg or the head on there. So don't tie it too tight just yet. Next one, go ahead and feed it through and there it goes. until it locks okay and you have the top sides all finished and now we want to do the legs 
And after I do these two legs, I will go ahead and end this video and start a part two so that it won't take forever to load. And the last one. And I know sometimes you think it's not going to go through, but nine times out of ten it will. If it doesn't go through and you just cannot get it to go through, I usually will start feeding it through the other end, the opposite end than the one you just tried. Okay, so the body is ready. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and start a new one. So I will see you in a little bit. Bye.